Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and uh, some of you might ask questions sometimes about why I might delete a video. I uploaded a video yesterday about a project called Jetmoon, alright guys, and um, I actually put quite a significant investment into that, another one of these meme tokens, alright, but um, a few hours later I decided to take the video down because shortly after I listed the video, uh, one of the devs started selling some tokens, alright, so I got a bit wrecked on that. All right, guys, and I'm always telling you to do your own research. Don't risk uh, more than what you can afford to lose. But in order to make sure any, nobody else got wrecked, um, I took the video down. The coin is still surviving, but um, yeah, just for the simple fact that the devs sold some tokens and there was a massive dump after that. They tried to explain themselves and stuff like that. But you know what? I decided to take the video down. Um, and you know what? There's been a few coins I've talked about on the channel and people like to slide in the comments and start accusing me of you know, taking payment for this and that or whatever, right? I talk about coins that I personally invest in, right, first of all. If you don't like it, don't invest in it, right? Now, there are some projects that I do do sponsorships with, but I always have a pay promotion sign down in somewhere in the bottom end of the screen, okay, uh, for legal reasons, all right? So, um, you don't need to accuse me of being paid for a token if you don't see that little thing down there, all right, guys? But at the same time, this is a YouTube channel and people watch videos for free all day long, every day long. Ad revenue doesn't pay massively, right? But um, I'm putting a lot of time and effort into this. So if a project comes along and sponsors it, only if I like the project, I do a video about it. I get a lot of them reaching out to me and a lot of them are turned down because, you know, they don't check out, right? Uh, but this is crypto, it's the wild, wild west. And even sometimes projects can look good and they turn out to be a scam or whatever. Okay, but I do my research first before I accept any uh, type of promotion uh, with a project. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you haven't got anything good to say in the comments, just, just don't say anything at all. And if you don't like the channel, you can always unsubscribe. But, um, yeah, false accusations don't go down well with me, to be honest. So sometimes you have to correct people. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it is quite foolish to address things that you don't know the full story of. Okay. So let's just get into the video. We're talking about Auto Farm, all right? It's a sensible project for you today. It's not a meme token or anything like that. Some of you may have already invested in Auto Farm, but for me, is like the yearn finance of the Binance Smart Chain. One of the reasons I have invested in this is, uh, well, there's a couple of reasons, okay? One of them being um, the price has dropped significantly from its uh, all time highs, I believe, uh, approximately. Uh, Fourteen thousand dollars, which we're going to bring it up now, uh, just to make sure I'm not getting this wrong. But um, it's always good to pick up a token, um, well, well, or not to buy a token at its all-time high, okay? And when it's had like a fifty to seventy percent retrace, it's always a good uh, opportunity to pick up a token. And and obviously, like for me, I said it's like the Yearn Finance of the Binance Smart Chain. And if you compare that with uh, Yearn Finance. Um, yeah, and finance is like 1.5 billion market cap, I believe. Um, you know, th there's a lot, there's a long way that this can go. Okay, and there's only 80,000 in supply in comparison to yen yeah, finance's 30,000 in supply. And like I said, the price at the top of the market was approximately around 14,000. We can see that from here, and it's had a nice retrace, right? And I don't believe that the bull run is over yet. Okay, um, it's currently $3,860, but don't let that put you off. We're looking at the market cap, we're looking at the supply, and when we can consider the price, okay? So um, another thing that interested me is the fact that it has actually recently been listed on Binance uh, this month, okay? Just about a week ago, okay? So like I said, it's come down from the all-time high, it's had a massive retrace, it's listed on Binance, it's got a low uh, market cap in comparison to Yearn Finance. It's got a low supply, um, but but you know significantly higher than Yearn Finance is by almost double, by, by more than double. Sorry, but it does look like a very good project. All right, and if you've had eyes on this for a little while, you see that the total value lots has increased massively. So it's now 1.5 billion. Uh, or almost 1.6 billion in total value locked. You can actually earn some decent gains if you do farm your auto farm um, tokens, all right? So, and, but, but there's many other tokens that you can actually farm on here. Um, there are quite a few people talking about this project. 
So I think if you're looking for a mature investment, you've got a decent amount of money, okay? You're not going to go all in. You're not going to put a massive, massive amount of money in, all right? But um, I bought a couple of tokens, just over, just almost three tokens, I believe, two point, maybe just under two and a half tokens I bought um, at the moment, and I'm considering adding more, but also I am considering adding some um, um, some liquidity and farming this, and obviously I'd have to split that up half, half, okay, and I wouldn't want to sell what I've got already, I'll probably be adding a BNB to that, so that I can farm um, and, and get an increase on my holdings, alright guys, so yeah. Um, also, in the video that I talked about with Jet Moon, that uh, actually, you know, the dev started selling tokens and that, I also did mention Alien Worlds, all right? I'm not going to do a review on this now, um, although I did do a short review on it yesterday, but we may look at this uh, moving forward. But you can actually farm your BNB and your BUSD. So I am actually in two pools on this. Okay, if I just refresh that, it's been a couple of days where I've been earning some rewards on this. Um, and you know, as you can see, I've got about approximately 50 BNB in the BNB pool, and and that's earning me some good rewards. And in the BUSD pool, put a large chunk of money in there. You know, so if you do have money sitting down in Binance or sitting down elsewhere in Teva, you know, you can swap it into BUSD, and um, you can actually put that to use. Okay. Farm it on Binance, you know that it's safe, your funds are safe, you can unstake at any time, and but you can actually earn some Trillium, TLM, which is the Alien Worlds token. And I'm really bullish on this token, that's why I'm trying to get as much as it uh, as I can. I actually bought some Trillium on PancakeSwap as well, where the liquidity is, is all over the place, and you know, there's very high slippage fees getting into that. Well, I actually bought it as, uh, not long after it actually got listed on PancakeSwap. I have checked out the platform, so I may do a review on this as well, because it's definitely an interesting topic. I'm, I'm extremely bullish on Alien Worlds. You can basically mine um, um, on these Alien Worlds, all right? There's several different worlds, and you can mine, and, you know, you basically you can buy land in an NFT form, and then you buy tools in NFT form, and then those together, depend, depending on how many tools you've got, you know, it, it enables you to mine more on the land, and you could choose different parts of the land to mine on, which gives you a higher yield and stuff like that. So it's definitely an interesting project. Go and check it out if you haven't already. All right, guys, but yeah, like I said, if you do have money uh, or tokens sitting down doing nothing and you're in stable coins, you might as well convert it to some BUSD, for example, and um, and, and get yourself some Trillium on Binance. You can actually stake for or farm for like 30 days. And the same goes with BNB. If you've got lots of BNB sitting down, send some over to Binance. Not financial advice, all right? It's just what I'm doing. But you can send some over to Binance and just stake it and earn yourself some Trillium, all right? It's better than it sitting there and you're not doing anything with it. And I know a lot of people are holding BNB right now and maybe even stable coins as well all right guys so yeah it's just a quick video um hopefully um, you guys find some value in this all right and uh by the way this uh, token is listing on binance uh tomorrow or no sorry on the 13th okay so you can actually buy it on binance on the 13th as well but like i said it is available on pancake swap and you can actually and, and none of this is pay promotion it's like i said guys if it's pay promotion you're going to see a little box in the corner all right, if you've got a problem with anything like that, you know what to do, man. Click off the video. Well, yeah, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.